have your attention, please? Please rise.
Brothers and sisters, let's give thanks to the God who is responsible for this all. Let's pray. Loving God, we love you, we praise you. Thank you for these graduates who have finished a course of study and are now ready to move on to something new. Oh, Lord, guide their paths. Continue to create, shape, and mold them into what you want them to be. Help them to be at their best for your glory. Thank you for Bethel University. Continue to shape and mold it into what you want it to be and then do the same with us. For we ask all these things in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And all of God's children said, Amen. You may be seated. For those that are standing, please come on in. You can sit in any of the white seats also. Yes, please feel free to come on and sit behind the faculty of the graduates. All right, I think we've about got everybody in. Thank you for bearing with us for a second. You're here a little early. I, I hate to tell you, but we're not, the football game's not to 12. We'll pull down the screen, so just make yourself comfortable and uh, we'll have the game ready for you in about two hours. <laughs> no, seriously, I wanna welcome our graduates. Thank you for being here today. You've reached a pinnacle uh, one of those steps in your life, and this is one of the big ones, where it's a game changer. We want to welcome you. We want to welcome your family, your friends, those that have helped support you to get to this point. It is a big day in your life. Uh, you will remember your graduation uh, for years and years to come, and it will change your life for 40 to 50 years. I want to welcome uh, not only you, but the your family and friends. I want to welcome uh, the students that are here to help do this today. Uh, and I want to welcome you on behalf of the Bethel University Board of Trustees, our faculty and staff. Folks, today we've got several Board of Trustee members here. I'm honored that they're here. They're sitting over here. They're, today, some of them have come from as far away as Detroit, Michigan, uh, Texas, just to be here for your graduation. And that says a lot. I, I tell people, I, I've got to say this, it's not part of the script, but uh, this university is what it is today. We've had so many outstanding board of trustee members over the years, over almost two centuries, that we would not be here if it was not for them. And I thank them. And I want to welcome you on behalf of our faculty and uh, staff. These are the people that are your servants. We know why we're here. We're here to help you get to the point you want to be. And you are, you've achieved that today. Uh, we, we, have act, we have the best faculty, the best staff to serve your needs that I've ever been aware of. Uh, it has been, I told our faculty the other day, it has been a privilege to get to work with them year after year. 
My biggest thing with the faculty, I told them, I stay out of their way. Worst thing I can do is get in their way. Uh, but they've done a great job, and I'm sure you agree too. It's your day. You have so much to be proud of, and we're proud of you, and we're proud for you. Today you're going to join 19,000 plus Bethel University alumni that's living around this world, that are changing this world every single day. They're following their dreams. They're after those things that make a difference. They teach, they preach, they raise children, they work as nurses, doctors, they practice law, they serve, they sing, they do mission work, they are, they're accountants, they're biologists, they work for professional sports teams, and the list goes on and on and on. You join those 19 plus thousand today, and we're honored for that. Uh, in, 19, in 1842, a handful of Cumberland Presbyterians decided they wanted to train young men to better serve their, their areas as preachers, as pastors. 1842, and they started a, uh, the, a Bethel College, what we now know as Bethel University. 181 years later, that dream they had is still being carried out today by you. We're honored they made that choice. They actually started nine universities. Only one of them remains today as a Cumberland Presbyterian School, and that's Bethel University. And now you're part of that tradition. We're one, you are one, you're alumni of one of the top 10% of oldest colleges and universities in the United States of America. That says a lot. The tradition continues with you, and we're honored that you're here today. Family, friends, thank you for joining us on this. I want to introduce our guest speaker today, our commencement speaker. Our commencement speaker is our friend. She's your friend. She's Bethel's friend. Our speaker is a Bethel University graduate. It, her graduation led to a career in state government in the, at, in the state of Kentucky. Many of you have had a meal with her over, over your time here. Many of you stayed occasionally with her when you needed help or you needed a friend. I can tell you she is a leader by example. Her and her late husband, Ken, have both served on our Bethel Board of Trustees. Our friend, my friend, Nancy Bean, has served as Vice President of Bethel University, and Nancy is currently the chairperson of the Bethel University Board of Trustees. She has a son, Jason, who pastors a Cumberland Presbyterian Church in the Nashville area. Her mom, Ms. Wyona Mouser, lives here in McKenzie, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, it is, it is your show today, but I want to introduce to you Bethel's friend, Bethel's chairman of the Board of Trustees, and my friend. I want to introduce to you our commencement speaker, Nancy Bean. He says all that, and now I'm not gonna cheer you up for a minute, but I will, I will. Graduates, I gotta be honest with you. I don't really envy you. You're facing and have faced a much more difficult world than I can even imagine. My generation and the generation following me are roaring. Oh, thank you, okay. My generation and the generation following me have left you a mess. There's not only pollution in our environment, but also in our relationships, and I fear in our souls. We have trouble everywhere. We have wars. We've always had wars, but we've never had it with the kind of ammunition that we have now. 
we have random shootings among our citizens. And we still, after all this time, have racial and gender inequalities. We have political parties unwilling to work together. We have churches splitting over issues. There's hatred, suspicion, lack of concern, and a huge void of respect around every corner. There's seemingly division and polarization everywhere. Our society seems to worship at the altar of nudity, vulgarity, and extremely disrespectful language. And now we hand the mess to you. I don't think that's the kind of world you want. I've known some, if not many of you, and I can safely say I could not be more impressed or more sure that you're up to the task. I believe in you in the deepest kind of way. Your minds are good or you wouldn't be graduating today. And your hearts are good. But I still have some advice for you. Well, actually it's not my advice, it's Mr. Fred Rogers. You know, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Mr. Rogers said there are three things to ultimate success, three ways. The first one is be kind. Be kind. The second one is be kind. The third one is be kind. I want to tell you a story that my late husband and I heard before we married and we vowed to each other that this is the kind of life we would have, the kind of marriage we would have. And we talked about it many times during our marriage. The story is that there was a, a man who died and went to pearly gates. When he got to the pearly gates, St. Peter said, wait just a minute, he said, I'm going to give you a choice. You can either go to heaven or hell, and I'm going to let you see both of them before you go, and you can make a decision which one you want to go to. So the man said, okay, and St. Peter said, I'm going to take you to hell first and let you see that first. They walked into hell, and there was this long table, I'm sure much longer than this room. It was absolutely full of the most beautiful food you have ever seen. The aroma in the room was like grandmothers at Christmas. It was delicious food. But as he looked closer, he realized that everybody's arm had become a fork. This was the handle and, it, and you couldn't move it. And then this part was the tines. And people were dipping the food and then trying to get it in their mouths and they couldn't. And they were screaming and they were wailing and they were crying. So the man said, okay, let me see heaven. They went to heaven, same thing, same kind of table, same aroma, the same tastiness, apparently, of the food. So he looked closer, and guess what? They had the same thing. Their arms wouldn't move. Their tines would dip the food, and they were feeding the person across the table. Be that, be that. As Jesus said in Matthew, treat others the way you would want to be treated. Be that generation, be that person. In your close relationships, be with those people who would choose the way of heaven as in that story. Recently, I've been reading about the Shakers. It's a religious sect, I don't know if you've heard of it or not but I lived up in Kentucky between two Shaker villages. 
<clears throat> the real name of it is United Society of Believers in Christ's Second Coming. They're a very uh, secluded society. They lived all together. They were very um, peace-loving. They had no families there because they separated the families and everybody was brother and sister, not families. But they, have, they were very hardworking and very innovative. For example, the broom, many other things, was founded by the Shakers. But they had a saying that we should all pay attention to. It was, do all the good you can in all the ways you can, as often as you can, to as many people as you can. Once again, do all the good you can in all the ways you can, as often as you can, to all the people you can. I know someone who has lived just like that. He's kind no matter what the weather is, what his mood is, how he feels, what the situation is. You know him too. He's the retiring president of Bethel University. I'm going to ask him to come up here now if he would, please. Dr. Butler, the Board of Trustees thanks you for your many years of service to Bethel, starting in the recruitment office, right. going through the business office, and then into the president's office. You graduated a time or two, didn't did. you? <laughs> As a board, we want to honor you in a couple of ways. First is a framed proclamation that I'm going to read to you. Can you all hear me okay? In recognition of your distinguished career and outstanding achievements as president of Bethel University, the Board of Trustees proudly proclaims our gratitude and respect for your faithful service, dedication, and love to this university. We are honored to confer upon you the honorary title of President Emeritus. Thank you. I appreciate it. Don't, Don't go away. To my knowledge, you're the only president emeritus there's been in, since 1842. I don't know of any others. Right. Step up here. Next, the board members have contributed money to rename the football stadium the Walter Butler Stadium. Right. 30, 30 minutes or so. After this is over, we're going to have sort of a ceremonial unveiling, except it's not veiled. Okay. <laughs> but, but we're going to make pictures out there. We do have a banner. Okay. This is not the permanent one. Okay. The permanent one is to come, but we will make pictures out there. Okay? Thank you very much. If you'll say, you want to say anything? Unbelievable. I, I said that about the football game a while ago. Had no idea about this. <laughs> uh, thank you. You honor me. The board does. You know, students, you, you, we pray for you every day. Uh, we're looking for y'all. I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> but uh, we're looking for y'all to carry this and be the next ones up here. Thank you very much. Now back to the graduates. You have people who are light in your world who kind of guide you. Dr. Butler is one of those. If you don't know him, get to know him. He is certainly one to me and he will be to you. The Shaker's Credo says, do all the good we can in all the ways we can, as often as we can, and to as many people as we can. Jesus said, treat others the way you want them to treat you. God bless you in your journey, and may I pray with you? God bless these graduates as they take their next step in their journey. 
order their steps in your will. Give them wisdom, give them mercy, give them grace, give them a heart that seeks you and follows you. May their days be long and their accomplishments numerous. We ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all of God's people said, Amen. Will those students who have completed the programs for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the College of Arts and Sciences please come forward? These students have met the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Science as prescribed by the faculty and will receive their diplomas as their names are called. Riley James Benavides, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Kayla Ann Bennett. Marshall Austin Burkett. Gabriel N. Cheatham. Emma Rose Klein. Allison Claire Craddock. Ivan Cuervo. Alun Diop. Aaron D. Faulkner. Noah Andrew Hampton. Juan David Hernandez Salazar. Isaac Clay Holly Cum Laude. Anaya Monique Holt Johnson. Nathan St. Joseph Hunter. Emily Grace Gerald's Cum Laude. Emily Gerald's has had the honor of serving as your Bethel University official mascot, Rowdy the Wildcat. Since Rowdy's first appearance in August of 2022 until a final appearance just two days ago, or if you were out in the hallway later than that. <laughs> Emmy is from Savannah, Tennessee. She is the daughter of Anthony and Tamara Geralds and will be presented with a stole for her service as Rowdy the Wildcat. Brenda M. Jones. Sierra N. Keenan.
Brock Weston Lane. Christina Nicole Leonard. Norberto Lima Vieira. Madison Kinsey Locke, summa cum laude. Adrian Makabwa Masubi. Madeline Nevea Miller. Brittany Lachey Minor, magna cum laude. Brandon Kishan Moore. Savannah Ashley Parker, cum laude. Kiaria Dupree Patton. <laughs> Natalie Rojas. <laughs> Marco A. Santa Torres. Kevin Bernard Shaw, Jr. Noah Franklin Stafford. Jordan Keyshawn Coleman Walker. Chisholm Watson, cum laude. Corey Patrick Wilson. <laughs> Will those students who have completed the programs for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in the College of Arts and Sciences please come forward. These students have met the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Arts as prescribed by the faculty and will receive their diplomas as their names are called. Adonis Alicia Delis Luna. Angelina Faith Fur, summa cum laude. Jacob Howard. Colton L. Lash. Alana Nicole Miller. Autumn L. White, summa cum laude. Will the students who have completed the programs for the degree of Bachelor of Music in the College of Arts and Sciences please come forward. These students have met the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Music as prescribed by the faculty and will receive their diplomas as their names are called. Anthony Ramon Hall, Jr.
Chase Joyner, magna cum laude. Will the students who have completed the programs for the degree of Associate of Science in the College of Arts and Sciences please come forward. These students have met the requirements for the degree of Associate of Science as prescribed by the faculty and will receive their diplomas as their names are called. Jalen S. Feltz. Keegan Lee Rhodes. For those students who've completed the programs for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the College of Professional Studies, please come forward. These students have met the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Science as prescribed by the faculty and will receive their diploma as your name is called. Charlotte Francis Aikens. Christy Lynn Badger. Stephen Allen Bonds. Ashley Nicolette Bounds. Tina Marie Blunt. <laughs> Latanya Monique Brown. Michelle Carol Brown. Siobhan Marie Campbell. David Silas Carroll with honors. Shelley Deanne Sampson Clemens. April Nicole Coleman. William Henry Crockett. Timothy Harold Crow. Danny Lynn Crownover with honors. Sarah Jill Dowdy with honors. Udalyn Tamika Elliott with honors. Ernessa Ariana Faison. Janice Faulkner Todd with honors. Patrick Bernard Fox with honors.
Misty Renee Haley with honors. Tyler James Haley. Lindsey Dawn Hammonds with honors. Robert Stephen Harris. Rasha Yael Harris. Terrace to Sean Lewis. Colleague Lipford with honors. Linda Louie with honors. Anastasia Elizabeth Love. Bradley Michael Lutton with honors. Earl, I'm Eric, sorry about that. Eric L. March. Thedeus McRae with honors. <laughs> Jessica Jane Mingle. Renita Janae Moore with honors. Angela Michelle Neal. Courtney Narkitha Peebles. Carrie Renee Pinion. Sabrina Annette Rudd. Marqueta Danielle Savage. Belinda Sawyer. Antonio Germain Sims with honors. DeAndrea Starnes. Heather M. Terman with honors. Anthony Cordero Williams. Chandra Denise Young. Yeah. Will the student who's completed the programs for the degree of the Associate of Science in the College of Professional Studies please come forward? <laughs> this student. This student has met the requirements for the degree of the Associates of Science as prescribed by the faculty and will receive their diploma as her name is called. Charity, thank you. <laughs> Charity Cherie Williams.
Will the students who've completed the programs for the degree of Associate of Arts in the College of Professional Studies please come forward? These students have met the requirements for the degree of Associate of Arts as prescribed by the faculty and will receive their diploma as their name is called. Mallory Elizabeth Ann Barnett. Makia Danae Hall. Xavier Devon Jackson. Will those students who have completed the programs for the degree of Master of Arts in Education in the College of Arts and Sciences please come forward? I wish we had an ad to run <laughs> during times like these. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, with well, those who have, those students who completed the Associates of Arts of Sciences, please come forward. These students have met the requirements for the degree of, of Bachelor of Science as prescribed by the faculty and received their diploma as their name is called. Vicki Siobhan Carroll. Denisha Nicole Forrest. Scotty Ray King Jr. Melody Denise Lowe. Well, the, stu the students who completed the program for the degree of Associate of Applied Sciences in the College of Professional Studies, please come forward. Jasmine Charlize Manus. <laughs> Ashley Marie Williams. Now then, <laughs> will those students who have completed the programs for the degree of Master of Arts in Education in the College of Arts and Sciences please come forward? These students have met the requirements for the degree of Master of Arts in Education as prescribed by the faculty and will receive their diplomas as their names are called.
LaDonia Ishelle Green. Carissa Joy Allen. Luana Lima Di Paolo. Irish Malone. Jamel Nicole Moore. Crystal Ann Tates. Lauren Alexis Woodard. students who've completed the programs for the degree of Masters of Business Administration in the College of Professional Studies please come forward. These students have met the requirements for the degree of Master of Business Administration as prescribed by the faculty and will receive their diploma as their name is called. Ebony Nicole Black. Courtney Monique Coleman. Billy Michelle Douglas. William David Franz. Alicia Dawn Green. Louis Antoine Guillebeau. <laughs> Charlene Marche Harris. Shamika LaShawn Harvey. Kara Ivy. <laughs> Kevin Lakey Kimball Jr. <laughs> Raven Elizabeth Macon. Desmond Rashad McCurry. Keely Shea Mara. Shamika Aisha Lachey Pleasant. Janae Shanice Ricketts. Renee Nanette Russell. Elizabeth Hope Savelle.
Alexis Victoria Wheeler. Renette Denise Jackson. <laughs> Will those students who've completed the program, programs for the degree of Master of Science in Criminal Justice in the College of Professional Studies please come forward? These students have met the requirements for the degree of Master in Science as Criminal Justice is prescribed by the faculty and they will receive their diploma as your name is called. Bonner. Albert Bonner, Jr. Stephen Paul Engstrom. <laughs> Nigel Jamal Payne. <laughs> Mario Liddell Tate. Ginger C. Terry. Okay, graduates, we're almost there. Not quite, we're almost there. I want you to do something for me. I, there, I've had one or two familiar faces today, that, uh, but I want you to do something for me. So you, some of you have done it before. I would like for you to stand up and give an ovation to your family, to your friends. I know most of you had somebody along the way that's helped you get to this point. Let's give them an ovation too. Thank you very, very much. I want to ask you graduates, some of you are already on your way. Some of you, this will be the first step uh, on your, your next journey. But I want to ask you, as you leave today, go after that dream. Whatever your dream is, Put it in high gear. Don't let up now. Put the pedal to the metal is what we used to say. Go after that dream. Then the next 40 to 50 years of your life, is, are gonna, those years are going to fly by. Seize your time. Make every minute important. Make every minute worthwhile. Work hard. Play hard. Enjoy every day. Thank your maker daily for what he's done for your life up to this point. And I want to ask you one more. I want you to do one good thing a day. You don't have to do 10. Do one good thing a day. And in 365 days, 
you're going to have a multitude of changes around those that you deal with. We love you. We're proud of you. We're glad you're alumni of Bethel University. The base just got bigger worldwide. All right. Now, would each of you stand? By the authority granted by the Board of Trustees of Bethel University and the charter of this university, I confer upon you in accordance with the degree program you have followed, degree of Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Music, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Master of Arts in Education, Masters of Business Administration, and Masters of Science in Criminal Justice. You may. Turn your tassel now. He already has, but may God continue to bless you every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, our alma mater is going to be led by Tremaine Johnson, who is here. If you don't know Tremaine, you better sit back in your, no, you got to stand up for the alma mater. You better hold on to something. After the alma mater is completed, Reverend Ann Haynes will do the benediction. We ask that everyone remain in their seats until the faculty and the students are able to exit. God bless each and every one of you today. Thank you for being here for our students. We look forward to seeing you in the very near future. Thank you, brother. No, normally, normally I would have um, you all to sing with me, but since this is my president, <clears throat> my president's last one, I want to sing for y'all. Dear is Bethel, long may we honor thee, year after year, may thy memories return. Purple and gold will forever deck thy hallways Bethel forevermore mm -hmm, Dear armor martyr long may Thy walks and porch toss forever cherish be ever and ever we strive to keep our faith with me. Saint Bethel forevermore with me. Bethel forevermore. Brothers and sisters, first I'm going to give you a charge. Go, go in peace, because you cannot go where God is not. Go with love, because ultimately love's the only thing that's going to endure anyway. And go with conviction. God will honor your dedication. Now know that you are the children of the living God and that you have been blessed. Oh, yeah. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you today and forevermore. Amen.
Thank you.